measuring of demand and supply. Now let's take it one by one. Demand. Demand refers to how much of a product or services is desired by buyers. The quantity demanded is the amount of the products people are willing to buy at a certain price at a certain time. The relationship between price and quantity demanded is always negative. Why? Because people always want to buy more at a lower price and sm uh, smaller quantity at a higher price. That is the reason behind the negative relationship between demand and price. Now, the law of demand. The law of demand states that if all factors remain, the same, remain equal, the higher the price of the good, the less people will demand of that good. In other words, the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. The amount of goods that the buyer purchases at a higher price is less because at the higher price of the goods, the opportunity cost of buying that good is usually high. As a result, people will, in fact, will naturally avoid buying a product that will force them to forego the consumption of something else that is of very uh, valuable to them. Now, this is the example of demand schedule. Demand schedule is the, uh, uh, tab uh, the table that represents that shows the, the relationship between the price and the quantity demanded. It shows the price at the co in, in a column and quantity demanded in another column. That is the amount that is attached to a particular quantity of products. And this is demand curve. Demand curve is derived from the demand schedule. We, de we represent the quantity and price of the from the demand schedule in a demand curve to show the relationship between the two, the relationship between price and quantity. And from the, the, the demand curve, we can see that as the price is going up, the quantity is going down. That means the higher the price, the lesser the quantity demanded. And we have a different demand curve. We have individual demand curve. And we have market demand curve. Market demand curve is the total, uh, uh, the, accum the accumulation of all the individuals in the market. When we have an individual consumer, an individual consumer can have his or her own demand curve, showing the relationship between the price of the product in the market and the quantity that that particular consumer can purchase. And the accumulation of all the consumers in the market is what make up of market demand curve. So we can have demand curve for a particular product and a particular uh, consumer and for another consumer. The accumulation is of the market demand curve. The determinants of demand. What are the determinants? The factors that affect the demand. One, we have price. The price of a commodity is a determinant. Two, we have the price of related commodity. Then we have consumer's income and we have consumer's taste. Also, we have consumer's expectation about future price of the uh, uh, products. And last one, we have numbers of buy. Let's take it one by one. The price of the products can affect the quantity that a consumer will buy in the market. That means when the price is going up, the consumer may not be able to buy much of that particular product. Also, the second one, the price of related commodity. We have some commodity, we have some products that are performing the same function. For example, we have Bonfita and Milo in the market, and they perform the same function. The increase in the price of milo will reduce the consumers that will be buying the milo and some of them will shift into buying bonfita because the bonfita's price will still remain the same. So the price of the related commodity usually affects the quantity demanded of that commodity at a particular period of time. Also we have consumers' income. Consumers' income 
have the resources to purchase the products in the market. When the consumer's income increases, there is a very great tendency of the consumer to increase the quantity of a particular product or the other he or she may want to buy in the market. And the other way around, when the consumer's income reduces, the number of quantity, I mean of products that the consumer will be able to buy in the market will definitely go down. Another determinant is consumer's taste. So consumers prefer one product to the other. And the product that they have a high preference on, they tend to purchase more of that product and less of the other products. Then we have consumers' expectation about future prices of the products. When the consumer, for example, when they hear that there are going to be a high price of a particular product in the future, they tend to purchase more of that product so that they will not be victim of the high price in the future or so much that the cost will not be so much uh, uh, a burden on them in the nearest future. And the last one is the number of buyers. The number of buyers of a particular product, if it increases, definitely the quantity demanded of that product will increase. And if it reduces, the other way around will happen, damage it will reduce. Change in quantity demanded. A change in quantity demanded of a good refers to the change of the quantity demanded as a result of the changes in price of that particular good. A change can be positive and can be negative. It can be positive if the change, if the change in price is leading to higher uh, uh, quantity demanded, and negative if the changes in price is leading to lower quantity demanded. Graphically, the demand curve remains the same when dealing with changes. I mean, in quantity demanded, the change is only shown on the movement along the demand curve. That is, on the same demand curve, the change from one point to the other is the change in quantity demanded. For example, say an example of in, uh, 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 demand uh, curve on the uh, uh, on the screen, the changes from price, when price was 4 Naira to when it is 2 Naira, make an increase in quantity demanded from 2 Naira to 4 Naira. That means when price reduced, when price of a particular product reduced from 4 Naira to 2 Naira, the quantity demanded of that particular product will increase from 2 quantity to 4 quantity. That is the change. That means from point 4 to point 2 is what the change in quantity demanded is talking about. So then we can have increase in demand and an increase in quantity demanded and decrease in quantity demanded. When price of a particular product reduce from one from a particular price to another price, for example from four naira to two naira, the quantity demanded will definitely increase because the price of that particular product has fallen. Then the quantity demanded will increase because of the negative relationship between the quantity demanded and price. In that case, we can say the, there is an increase in quantity demanded. And the other way around, when there is a decrease in quantity demanded, that means the price of that particular product increase from like 4 Naira to 6 Naira. That means the quantity demanded will reduce from 4 Naira to like 2 Naira. That means people will not want to buy more at a high price and the quantity demanded will reduce. And that is a case whereby we have decrease in quantity demanded. Change in demand. Change in demand is different from change in quantity demanded. The slight difference between the two is that change in quantity demanded happens and still on the same demand curve. But change in demand is a total shift of demand curve from one point to another. Change Another difference between the two is that change in demand, change in quantity demanded is always affected by the price of that particular product. Why change in demand can be, a, can be as a result of any changes in other factors that affect demand. A change in demand of a good means a change in the whole purchase plan of that particular product. 
it is caused by factors other than the, the price of that particular product. And from the graph, it is total shift from one point to the other of the demand curve. This means it can be an increase in demand or a decrease in demand. And that means it will shift from the original demand curve either to the right or to the left. To the right is an indication of an increase in demand and to the left is an indication of decrease in demand. For example, from the graph above, that shows that the, uh, that's an example of an increase in demand. You discover the D1 is the original demand curve and when the, uh, when the change happens, it increases to D2 which is a shift upward or rightward which shows an increase in demand. Now what are the factors that are responsible for the increase in demand? One, increase in consumer's income. When consumer's income increase, definitely there will be an increase in demand. The tendency for a consumer to increase the quantity of a particular